You see, if you cannot think, I cannot help you. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? People, when it comes to money, this is the biggest fact. This is the most important intelligence because most people go to school and they're taught not to make mistakes. If you make a mistake, you're stupid. So they don't do anything. You know, if you're afraid of making mistakes, that means you're emotionally constipated. You need an enema, you know? Because you went to school and said, don't make mistakes. And then the last one is spiritual intelligence. So let me explain spiritual intelligence. Mental intelligence puts things in a minimum of two. Good, bad, right, wrong, up and down. Spiritual intelligence is one. We're all united. Like, you know, you and I are human beings, so we, I unite to you. When I communicate with you, I unite with you. But if it's mental, I say, oh, you know, Alex is smart, Alex is stupid. I'm now dividing us. And that's what our schools are doing. So the reason games are the best teachers, at least Monopoly was for me, and our board game Cash Flow, the reason I created Cash Flow is a game will engage me mentally. I'm interested. It gets me emotionally. Yeah. Nobody likes to lose, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And then physically, I have to do something. I, have, I like the board game better than the electronic game because I have to do the math. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you do the math, you're actually getting smarter. And then it's spiritually, it's you want I wanna make sure you win and I can I don't have to take you out no. to win cash flow. Mm -mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't have to I don't have to make you the loser. Mm -hmm. But that's what schools do. They have to have one person smart, one person stupid, one winner, one loser. So when I'm teaching you either real estate or business and all this, I don't want you to lose. I want you to win. So once again, the games are the better teachers, like the game of Monopoly, simply because it involves you, your physical intelligence. And the more you do your numbers on the cash flow game, the smarter you get. Emotionally, because nobody likes to lose. This is really surprising. A lot of people lose because they got too happy. Do you know what I mean? Too like excited. With, yeah, with, no, what happens? Oh, I'm rich. Then I get egotistical and arrogant, you know? And I get cocky and I'm smarter, I'm richer, then you lose. And you also lose if you've been told, well, I'm stupid and I failed and all this stuff, you also lose. So that's why games are the best teachers because you, you go up and down emotionally as you're playing the game, but spiritually is we get together to help each other out. Yeah. We military school teach us to work for a mission. What's your mission in life? And making money is really easy. I don't understand what the big deal is. So I retired a long time ago. I had more what, than what, enough what money. What was the age you retired at? Again, for the people. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. My wife was thirty-seven. I'm planning on forty-five. Good. You're fighting jet lag the right way. You're working. I, I'm not fighting jet lag. I don't know what your obsession <laughs> with jet lag is. <laughs> I don't know how you can travel so much. You're. I don't all give over. a shit. That's why. Okay. I mean, I don't think about petty things. You know what I mean? What people do you think, think about? about petty things? What do you think about now? Just leave me alone. I mean, you know, I just think about the economy, business, okay. world affairs. I, I, I want to, my job is to make complex financial systems simple enough so the average person can understand it. That is extremely difficult because most people are brainwashed when it comes to money. Go to school, get a job, work hard, pay your taxes, save money, get out of debt, buy a house and invest in a stock market. Everybody who follows that program has been brainwashed. Okay. Tell that to the Romanians that come from a former communist country. We are 30 years into transition. Americans believe the same thing. It's not just Romanians, worldwide. It's because of the system that controls the world economy. And guys like you can't even see it. You're thinking about money. I don't even care about money. I make a lot of money because I understand the system. I would never go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, buy a house, and invest in a stock market. I do everything exactly opposite. What do you do? What should a Romanian that has been fighting for communism to survive, and now he's into transition and uh, doesn't understand uh, this about capital? Well, everything is the opposite of what they're teaching you in school. I wouldn't go to school. And what would you do? 
I would study money. I understand. Yes, because they don't teach money in schools. Correct. I understand that money is debt. And until you get out of debt, they're telling you get out of money. In 1971, if you read my books, because I don't think you have. I read. I in read 1971, it. the U.S. dollar became debt. The U.S. dollar is the reserve currency of the world. I don't know if you know what that means. It I became, do. It's, what does it mean? It's very dangerous for everyone. No, it does. And it's not covered in anything. It's uh, the only value it has is trust. I don't really want to do this interview anymore. If you want to find out what I know or tell me what you know, then don't interview me. Okay. Just you, you do your own stupid show. I'm trying to tell you something here and you want to okay. tell me how smart you are. That's very egotistical. I'm, I'm here because I'm stupid. Let's get well, that straight. Well, then let me explain something then, damn it. Let's do it. I'm trying to explain to you when they tell you get out of debt, that's stupid because the money is debt. And the only way money gets out of debt is via taxes. So all the people who work for money, you read rich debt, poor debt, what's lesson number one? Rich people don't work for money. Correct. Money is debt. I use debt as money. And everybody thinks getting in debt is bad. Well, who told you that? I think the stock market is for losers. Why would you put money in the stock market when it's manipulated? That's what I think about. So I'm always watching the manipulation going on behind the scenes. That's what my brain is focusing on all the time. And I don't pay taxes. The question is, how is it I don't pay taxes? I can tell you. That's an, that's an important question because most people are so, most Romanians and most people in the United States cheat on their taxes because they hate taxes so much. But you don't have to cheat on taxes if you understood how money was working. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. So how, so when they lend out, why is debt tax free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. And so the banks love it. They love people borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt. I borrowed 300 million after the crash dollars. In 2000, by 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down. So that my cost of money kept coming down. And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? Because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it and then uh, they pay taxes after taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, do, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is, if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor.